Beard of Hootred here today, and we're gonna do a little cooking. Today we're gonna make one of my favorite things to make, and we are making stone soup. So, I cook outside, as you see. So first we're gonna get this grill ready, and then we're gonna go at it. All right, we got the coals in there. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys soaked up. Boop. All right, we got this match. Oops. Third time's the charm. There we go. We're gonna let those do their thing. Then we're gonna put this on there. Now it's time to get to food prep. The fire. Look at the fire. So I like to put a little bit of everything in stone soup. That's why it's called stone soup. Like start with some onions, some potatoes, some carrots. Oh, she took them out the bowl. Some carrots <laughs> and le mushrooms. They starting to turn a little white, but you know, coals take a while, 15 to 20 minutes. The fire, look at the fire. All right, y'all, let's start with these taters. Carrots, I'm not really a fan of carrots. I don't like to eat them raw, but if they're cut up and cooked in certain things, I can tolerate them. Now, one thing I don't do as it pertains to carrots is I don't waste these. Carrot greens are delicious. So I might put these in at the very end of the stone soup so they can stew on top and then, you know, get nice and yummy. We'll see. But for now, they sit down. All right, let's scrape some of the nature off of these carrots i guess i could say the part that people don't like why don't we like that part i mean what's so bad about it am i wasting food by scraping off the outside of the carrot y'all let me know haha <laughs> 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 forest man <laughs> Now, I think sauteing the onions and the carrots beforehand are just going to make the flavor really pronounced in the soup. I should have made mirepoix, which is when it's like celery, onions, and carrots. But even though I'm a fan of celery, oh, there we go. I would say today's not the day for that. There we go. Next is gonna be my favorite onions, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, cube these potatoes first. Now the potatoes aren't gonna go in with the onions and the carrots. The potatoes are gonna go in when, after all those, after the carrots and the onions are done cooking, like cooking down, reducing, then I add the broth and everything, then we'll add the potatoes when it gets to that boil. So we're gonna go ahead and cut up some of these onions. Where is there? Ah, here we go. If y'all want to know where I got these 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 tools from, that say SOG on them, you got to check out my other videos. I did an unboxing on these when I first bought them. water break came to check out the coals looking pretty nice let's go ahead and um, put this here and now I'm gonna go add that sausage I was telling you about yeah this is good for the sausage the fire look at the fire yeah there's the chorizo the sausage and the shrimp time for some veggies Don't waste them, don't waste them. Oh, okay, good. I think I wasted a mushroom. So, I'm not gonna add any more liquid yet. I'm gonna let them steam down and cook a little bit. Then we'll see what's going on later. 
two hours later. Oh yeah, check that out, y'all. See, there's a certain method I use on my little baby grill to make sure it gets hot enough to boil this. The fire. Look at the fire. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. I'm also gonna add seasons because if there's one thing we don't want is under season food. And I only use one seasoning that includes salt so I don't over salt my flavors because the chorizo and the sausage that are in here both have salt in them. So I'll taste it a little later but I gotta let it reduce a lot more before the um, potatoes fit in and the broth. And I really want to get these carrots soft too and make sure there's enough room for everything to fit. Remember when I say I try to uh, not overcook? Looks like I did it again, y'all. Looks like I did it again. But, oh, this looks like it's going to be fantastic. This is going to be great. Look at that. Oh, my God. All right. Good food takes time, and this is nowhere near done. So, I'm going to put the cap back on this. See what it looks like in about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm really waiting on them carrots to reduce, but they might not reduce too much before I end up putting the beef broth in. It'll take it boiling for a while to do that. And these coals are hot, baby! Time to add the taters. Let's not splash any of this super hot liquid on my body. <laughs> R.I.P. to those potatoes. Ooh, we didn't mean to drop potatoes down there, but you know, life happens. One hour later. Ooh, we check that out. I definitely put too much broth in it because it's been spilling over but it's still boiling good so i'm just making sure it's not spilling over too much y'all oops there we go and yeah i'm gonna put this top back on let it cook down help them potatoes get soft and when it gets low enough then i'll add more broth but until then i'm gonna let this baby simmer 20 minutes later listen y'all this stone soup is off the chain here's my bowl time to get it going First thing I'm gonna do, throw some of these carrot greens at the bottom. Why? Because this soup is so hot, it's gonna help cook those down while they're in the bowl. Stone soup, my friends. There's shrimp, sausage, beef chorizo, potatoes, onions, carrots, and some carrot greens, as well as various spices. Whew. Let's give this a try. Later. Unfortunately, I'm too sweaty to show you my face, but yo, this is perfect. I could add stuff to it later, keep it the same, spice it up, like make it spicy, keep it like this. But yo, this stone soup is probably one of my favorites thus far. Beard of Uhtred here. Thanks for being here with me. And we were cooking with Uhtred. Peace out.